Hello. Uh, today I want to review a uh, stick FPV antenna I got from Banggood. And you can see there it's quite small antenna. It's it's good for racing, it's hard to damage it and it uh, normally if it performs well it, it allows you to get a quite good video signal, stable and so on. So normally I do them myself, just decided to buy some cheap ones just to check why not if, if I can buy them and will not need to make. So let's use SVR meter again to check them. Okay, let's turn it on. And enter scan mode. Let's make a scan. And what we see, we see that this antenna is junk. Uh, in all frequency range, the SVR is more than five, so it's not flyable, it's not usable one. That's that's quite sad. Let's check again. Nothing changed, and the, res the result is stable and worse. So let, let's try the second one I got. I, I bought two pieces, so we have some to check. Okay, the new one mounted and let's scan again. So what we see, we see some point where the SVR is between 3 and 4, but this antenna is also junk. It's not flyable, it will not give you good signal and will heat up your transmitter and nothing more. So, uh, really to say at first, uh, I first I thought that the bone size is wrong, but I compared it with the good one I have and uh, it's correct, so the problem must be somewhere in the cable or the transmitting part of wire. Maybe it's too long. Let's let's check that out. I will cut some uh, parts from it and we'll see. So at first I want to cut the thermal tube until the wire. Okay, now they are same, same height in the wire and the thermal tube and uh, I will try to cut uh, pieces by about one millimeter each time to check how that will change the antenna performance. I will run the automatic scan mode, it, that, that will make a circular scan. You can see it's running and when it will finish it will start again. So let's let's cut a little. Still not good. Let's cut a little more. Uh, when I'm cutting I I'm shorting the wire down and sorry I had to make a small pause in the video so let's check what we see now that's what we got after cutting some part from the antenna you can see its result is not very very good oh let's let's wait till it's check it okay so let's cut a little more Okay, it looks much better than before, but still isn't not ideal, but let's cut a little more. Okay. So 
So after that tuning, we, we got at last some flayable antenna, we can use it on the lower channels again, the higher channels are a little bit fold down, they are quite difficult from chip transmitters to work on the higher frequencies and if antenna is not perfect, there, there will be a diagram like that, so uh, that's I think enough to to be sure that these antennas from the box are not good for FPV and that they will make a lot of problems with a video signal and let's check the minimal uh, minimal SVR we got that's 1.29 at the frequency 56.85 uh, so just just to recheck let's check my favorite antenna I fly with it's a handmade stick antenna that's basically the same so we can use it as, as a reference it, it shows very stable signal and let's check it out So you can see my handmade antenna is much better and works even on the higher channels and the minimal SVR is 1.06. So that's think enough to know about the, the antennas and thank you for watching.